Welcome to Sports Life Talk. Hey, yeah. Cause this is Sports Life Talk. Hey, hey. You rock it with Sports Life Talk. Life Talk. Hot topics yeah. with Sports yeah. Life Talk. Come on. So come and get you some Sports Life Talk. Life. They let us in the game, now we calling the shots. Yeah. Things will never be the same, so yeah. get what you thought. Yeah. Cause life without sports hey. ain't nothing but hey. talk. Hey. Go now, finally a show that makes your heart pound. Profound hey. wonder what's hey. running up through your thoughts now. Hey. About to drown all podcasts yeah. that be watered down. Tell them clowns it's a new era and it's starting now. I've told the strangers, the five power rangers approaching sports life talk from five different angles. Get ready for the change up. We done turned the flame up. The topics that we bring up, we about to blow this thing. Yeah, let's get it cracking. KT the head coach in Miss Manhattan. Gemini Jones holds the throne, she be calling them out. Mr. United Surgeon B. Jones, the mouth of the south. Home to cover athletes to the year of the week. We got what you need. We dropping what's hot in the streets from copping new sneaks to locals popping, doing big things. We'll gossip and tea. Let Kimberly pull you a dream. Sports Life Talk, who is them? Went from not listening and now you're tuning in. If you're feeling what you're hearing, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you for listening, let the show begin. Sports Life Talk, who is them? Went from not listening and now you're tuning in. If you're feeling what you're hearing, tell a friend, tell a friend. Thank you for listening, now let the show begin. Let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Welcome to another episode of Sports Life Talk, where life without sports is just talk. I realized I needed to put my jacket on real quick just in case I raised my hands because I hadn't shaved my underarms in a minute. So I didn't want everybody to think I was Erica about doing out here. So I had to go ahead and put my jacket Wait, on. Wait, Erica about doing shave her underarms? I don't think she shaves anything. <sighs> it don't matter. You know how fine that woman is? Yeah, okay, I can live with some stuff. Or Janelle Monae because I don't. she don't shave either, so. But I do. What for those that, that ask? I do. I just did. Anyway, what's up, y'all? How y'all feeling tonight? Oh, we're feeling good, Jen. We got we were talking good backstage, man. Let's turn up. I am ready to go. Miss Madden, are you ready? I am ready. And what about I you, got, Dean? Got hey man, you, everybody who watched this already know M O T. S, y'all know how the mouth of the South get down, man. I've been crank coming out of the womb. Let's go. All right. What? Well, do we need uh, KT? Introduce yourself. Who is you? I am the head coach KT, aka Ed Reed, because I can cover everything. And if you know Ed Reed, he's a small, I mean, a uh, strong safety, probably the best safety, top three to play the game ever. I am him. He is I. I am the head coach KT. All right, the man to the on the side of me. How you feeling this evening? I didn't want to. Man, y'all already know who it is. It is the mouth of the South, B. Jones, the OG Louisiana in the building, ten toes down with the crew. I, you know what I'm saying? I'm one of the OGs in this thing. So uh, super excited to be here. It's Wednesday night. If you're listening to this, you know the call to action. Get this thing popping. Let's share this episode out. Let's get. Let, hey, we got a great one in store for uh, for all the people who've always felt like they were the backup. We we go. We we doing this one. <laughs> For all of the backups tonight. So we got a special one as we uh, as we hold it down for Kelly Rowland. All right, Miss Manhattan. Everybody got on black tonight. I have on black. I have on a black shirt. I'm scared to move my camera. I don't, don't want to go too far. Yeah, it's a little too far now. Like, go on, put, go on back up now. Well, I don't know what you're thinking. But okay. Maybe Gary probably said. <laughs> <laughs> well, Miss Manhattan, how are you feeling this evening? I'm good. You know, I'm always happy to be here on Wednesday. Oh, I was actually supposed to fix me a drink. So I guess whenever we do the read, um, <laughs> I am drinking tonight, guys. Drinking tonight. Okay, let's go. Let's drink. I'm not. Um, I was rushing, but I, yeah. Anyway, I'm Jimmy Jones. I host this shit. I think I'm going to get that on a shirt. <laughs> You know, you look right. a lot different than you did last week for some reason. I don't know what it was. You look totally different. Like a, it's a different person out here last week, but let's go. <laughs> African American Pam is back. Uh, my my clone was here last week, and um, you know, like at the wax museum, they didn't get you know the coloring quite right. But you know, I'm back. I'm back. All right, y'all. So this episode is 219. It is always tell y'all the date. It is April 3rd, Wednesday, April 3rd. We're honoring none other than Miss Kelly Rowland. 
Calendria Rowland, a singer, actress, and TV personality best known for her tenure as a member of a highly successful girl group, Destiny's Child. She achieved solo success during the group's hiatus with her debut album, Simply Deep, featuring the hit Dilemma with Nelly. Roland ventured into acting with roles in films like Freddy vs. Jason and The Sea Filler. After Destiny's Child disbanded in 2006, Roland released Miss Kelly and explored electronic dance music with Here I Am, featuring hits like Commander and Motivation. She also appeared as a judge on a talent show like The X Factor and hosted shows like Chasing Destiny. Roland's solo career has immense success with over 40 million records sold. Her contributions to music have earned her numerous awards, including five Grammys, and she has been recognized with a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Hey, I was back here. Oh, I got rolling the Kelly rolling, man. <laughs> no, it's just when we came back, she went there. I was like, oh, oh we know this way she's going to get. No, oh, that's right. that's right. that's right. I was like, she must have had like an F1 uh, race crew that was going to make a drink in 60 seconds. I don't know how she was going to yeah, pull that off. So. <laughs> All right. Well, yes, Miss Kelly Rowland is absolutely gorgeous and amazing. And I didn't think. You know the Tyler Perry movie was that bad. I actually enjoyed it. So you know, shout out to uh, Kelly for diversifying her portfolio and getting into a little acting. All right, y'all. Well, um, well, hold on. I got to do my trivia. So if you rock it with, oh my. Trivia for us? Yeah, I do got some trivia for us. Uh, it was funny that she talked about Kelly Rowland sold 40 million albums uh, by herself, 60 million with uh, with, with Destiny's Shot. I did not know Kelly Rowland was doing it like that. We talking about 100, and, uh, 100 million albums that like that's that's ridiculous but i also found out that she was a uh, part of the crew with the x factor so giving back to her craft i want y'all to tell me what is the name of the group that through that show that kelly Rowland has been credited with forming so she formed another girl group by using by using the x factor platform and i want y'all to tell me what was the name of that group? She actually did two groups. So I'll let you do two groups, but I just need one of the two groups that she founded using the platform of X Factor and you will win yeah. What's Life Talk t-shirt. Okay. All right. Y'all know what to do. Y'all ain't new to this. Y'all true to this. So it is time for the Playmaker segment. And I know y'all let's... Get I thought that was a uh, trigger word, playmakers. So I, I hit yeah, the yeah. I, I, you know, I thought that was like the, the word, the move too. But then she kept talking. I was like, oh, <laughs> you know what? I, I, I got to do better because you know sometimes I forget. You so. did good. Three weeks in a row, you did good, and this week you just said, you know what? Well, whatever. All right, y'all take it away. <laughs> you know, normally we have somebody that we had on from you got next, or somebody's doing something big locally. But I want to give a shout out. To all the women who played this weekend in the NCAAs, the LSUs, the UConns, uh, South Carolina, Iowa, all of those young ladies put on a show this weekend, and they have put the world on notice. Because if you notice, know how many people are talking about the men's game? Everybody's quiet, right? That's exactly how people are treating the men's game right now because it's more excitement on the women's game. So. Shout out to them. I'm looking forward to the Final Four this weekend. So if you're not tuned in, please tune in. We got Iowa versus UConn, NC State versus South Carolina for the right to go to the, to go to the national championship. Well, it's funny. I'm going to keep rolling. I'm going to keep this train rolling, Coach, for my for my local athlete this week that we paying our respects to is on that NC State team, uh, a young lady by the name of Maddie Cox, who was from Flower Mound, Texas. She was one of the top 100 players in her class. She was a freshman this year at a 6'2 freshman powerhouse who was already getting valuable minutes. She actually played in these games that helped her team to get to the, uh, to the Final Four. And uh, I 
I mean, she she was part of that pro skills team. You remember that, KT? She was part of that pro skills team that really made me fall in love with AAU basketball. So shout out to one of our local legends who will get the opportunity to watch on uh, on Saturday night in uh, in Maddie Cox. Well, B. Jones. Me, Friday I- night. Friday night. I know we're showing love to Maddie, but don't forget about La- uh, Lacey Steele, too. Yeah, but she ain't local. L- Lacey is a you got next legend. That's what uh, I'm saying. Uh, she local. If she, if she you got next, she family reunion local. She's from, she from Edmond, Oklahoma. But, yeah, that's it's pretty cool to know that we got a young lady. So just to shout out our you got next alumni, we got uh, Coach Raina Harmon. She's on the sideline for Iowa. We got uh, we got Lacey Steele. So we, we got a little bit of representation uh, in the final four. So I'm super excited about watching them, them and supporting them uh, this weekend as well. All right, all right, all right. All right, so um, it is time for the new business. So on Friday evening, um, some friends hit me up. They wanted to go to the cigar bar. And I was like, cool, but I'm going to need to eat first. So there's this joint on um, Instagram I've been looking at. It is t- uh, called uh, Miami Vibes. And so we went. It is over off of Park and Midway, uh, Carrollton area. But they say it's Plano. So I guess it's Plano. Uh, but it was very, very good. Um, they have a daiquiri machine set up. So they have all these different daiquiris. Some have rum. Some have tequila some have Hennessy I had the Hennessy one um it was I can't feel like I got a sneeze but it won't come out anyway it was really good I had the Cajun pasta I got chicken and shrimp um it was really good as well uh one thing I don't like I don't understand why restaurants serve me my shrimp with the tail on it so then I gotta you know pick it off and all that kind of stuff but Hey, I, 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 I had to look into that myself because every time I go order me a shrimp fried rice, they keep the tail on. I'm like, who got time to be doing this with rice? But apparently when you leave the tail on, the it, they don't shrink down as bad. So the shrimp keeps its uh its original shape somehow if, if they keep the tail on. I don't I don't know how that magically happens, but that's that's what that's what Google say. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, they can go ahead and shrink my shrimp down and take my tails off for me. I don't feel like working <laughs> Um, other than that, uh, the drinks were really good. Um, the the ambiance is amazing. It's blue. It's very Miami ish. Really cute spots to the, to have a little you know birthday situation you know or whatever. And the chef there is Chef Hoppy. Um, he was a, a personal chef for Deion Sanders. He has been a personal chef for Dak and Ezekiel. He um, has uh, been a chef for a lot of the Cowboys. And so he is the head, sh- uh, I believe he's the head chef over there. Um, and we met him too. He was really nice. Um, and I guess the manager there, she let me, when I was waiting for my friend, she let me sample all the daiquiris. I was like, oh, thanks. Appreciate that. So really nice spot. If you get a chance to go, uh, when you make a reservation, they only have tables of four. They don't have tables of two. However, you can go sit at the bar or invite two more people to go with you. So hmm. shout out to Miami Vibes in Plano. All right, so it is time to crush on somebody. Now, somebody changed my crush. I don't know who did it, but... uh, No way. I didn't know that your crush was listed, so I'll let you... Um, well, we're going to do two crushes tonight. So my crush is going to be some controversy amongst this group. That's right. We as a family, we get into it as well. And uh, I got picked Angel Reese. That's right. I wanted to show WCW love for Angel Reese, not for that dog on the court, but because she's a beautiful young lady who is a, is more than a WNBA player or, or college phenom. She is a, a activist. She's doing big things in our community. She's, she's giving back and she's quite frankly stunning. She is a gorgeous young lady. So that was my women's crush Wednesday. But I'm gonna let I'm gonna let Miss Manhattan give y'all her her woman crush Wednesday as well. I'll save mine for next week. <laughs> I, I, I'm gonna I'm let Angel have her whole her whole week because she does look good. She looks she looks great. great. And somebody yeah. got an issue with that. We'll talk about it. We'll talk about that on another show. <laughs> Lusting after anyway. All right, so it is time for the kickoff. 
question. See how I was ready that time? <laughs> Yeah. All right, so Kelly Rowland, who was our, who is our cover celebrity this week, uh, was known as the number two in Destiny's Child. We all know Beyonce is number one, uh, but she broke out on her own and proved that she could become a number one artist by herself. So we want to give our top. Uh, artists that have been in a group, maybe in the background, that came out and had a very successful career on their own. So who wants to go first? We'll, we'll let the ladies go first. Okay, Katie. Okay, so my first person, I really hate to pick this person because um, we just have this unspoken beef. But I learned, I learned. You know about uh, it? Huh? Does she know about it? No, that's why I say it's unspoken. She don't know. But she's grown since then. And it doesn't take away uh, the good from her. So um, I'm going to go with Carrie Hilson. Okay. All right. <laughs> what are you shaking your hair for, KT? Carrie Hilson, have you yeah. seen her? Hey, hey. she's back. They got a whole new tour. They got a new tour. Yeah, that's her, uh, Carl Thomas and Tank. Yeah. Yeah. I'm confused with why Carl Thomas is in there. But anyway, all right. So, KT, you want to give your first one? I'm going to go Mary J. Blige. Legend. One of the dopest artists to ever grace this planet. You know, that, that auntie dance, like, you know, Jim and I be doing. So, yeah, I'm going to go uh, Mary J. Blige on mine. Jim and I be uh, uh... looking like Mary J. Blige out there. Come on. Keep on going. <laughs> Sexy red. B. Jones? Uh, my first one, I'm going to go with, speaking of legends, I got to go with John Legend. Uh, I, I didn't even know John Legend was a backup until I started doing research. I'm going to tell you, I love music, but I'm not a music junkie like my cohorts here. And uh, so I had to actually go Google this and look into it. And then I saw John Legend on the list. So I started looking into it and he was a beast. And uh, he had did some backup work before he actually got into the forefront and became a front man. Okay. So I'm going to go with uh, my first one because I'm going to go ahead and get this out the way because I'm sure none of y'all know who this person is. It's Taylor Dane. And, um, who is Taylor Dane? Who is Taylor Dane? She's, uh, she's a white singer, right? Yes, and she used yeah. to sing back up for Mariah Carey. But KD, do you remember when we went out last summer and that song came on and I was yeah. like, damn it, and I was like, nobody else knows this song? Yeah, she's <laughs> She sings that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She's like she's like a blonde. I, I remember Taylor Dane. I, I remember Tell me, this. Tell yeah. me I'm the only one. Is this really love or just a game? Yeah, that's Pam's song, y'all. So if it comes on when y'all are with her, she is going yes. to sing I it like I slipped back into the third grade. Okay. Hey, but you know, you actually did a good uh, a good little riff there, Pam. I got I gotta give you your uh your, <laughs> So now, well, you did a good job with that. I can sing and I can dance and I can cook. All right, Miss Manhattan, back at you. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and get my number two since I'm still talking. I'm gonna go with Kelly Price. Legend, another one. Price. Yeah. I don't know where she disappeared to last year, but I still love Mr. Kelly. I, Price. Think, I think the I youngsters know crazy. Just don't know Kelly Price though. I mean, do y'all like, 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 like? like be, let's be honest, Miss Manhattan. Do you know Kelly Price? I know Kelly Price, but I only know like a song and I couldn't name it off the top of my head. It would have to be playing and I know the song. Probably. Yeah. yeah. Kelly Kelly had her moment. She was one of the hottest with, with R. Kelly and Ron Kelly. Yeah. Okay. All right. Katie. Um, so my second person, I was torn because there, there is sisters and there's another sister that had a successful career, I'd say, but I'm going to have to go with Tony Braxton. So, you know, she was in the in the in the group with the sisters. So I'm gonna choose Tony. Was Tony not the lead singer? So who was the lead singer at first? There wasn't really a lead, I don't you know, think. You I know, think they all was. can sing. They all, yeah. yeah. But Tony started stepped out on her own and, and became popular. Well, I didn't know. Well, I didn't know. Well, you know, Babyface yeah. brought her on. He discovered oh, okay. Tony. Okay. I yeah. got it. So he she was, was like, back for Babyface. Oh, okay. good, but we I want her. Okay. Yeah. And, and then her sisters would be her backup singers mm -hmm. when she was Braxton, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. That's pretty dope. Yeah, but they all can sing. It's pretty amazing when they put their little songs together on their um, old show. Um, what is oh, it? Somebody would just hit the piano and then they would just bust out singing. Like, I love yeah. it. But all the right. funny thing about Tony Braxton is you think she's about Gemini's height. Why would you think that? She like five yeah, why? No, no, I'm saying when she first came out, she, because of her oh. voice, you would think that she was like, oh, yeah, yeah, she can go. You know what I mean? She like five two. Yeah, she is five two, but she she cold. She's five two. Five two, and she's fine too. <laughs> five two, where well, she fine too. I don't mind if I do. Come on, KT. All right. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna save him for last. I'm gonna go Angie Stone. A okay. lot of people don't know about Angie Stone. You know, D'Angelo's baby mama. Mm hmm. She's she's pretty. What are you gonna say, B? Uh, that, that name never came up in. <laughs> That's you know, why I switched it. Nobody was gonna say her, so I switched girl, it up. I got all of them. Golly, all right. Well, in post production, somebody took my other one. And I gave it to him, so let's go. All right, so, so here we go. Uh, my second one. I'm gonna I'm gonna change the pace. I'm a rule breaker. Y'all know who I am. I'm from Louisiana, so I gotta break rules. And uh, if y'all remember this line, y'all know who I'm talking about. After you back it up, then stop. Then wop, 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 drop it like it's hot. That's right. Little Wayne was not the go-to rapper when he was rapping on Cash Money. He was part of the Hot Boys, and he was not even the main singer or the main rapper in the Hot Boys. It was BG and Juvenile were the two main guys, and Lil Wayne came out of the background from just that what that was his first time making it on the on the main stages when back at, uh drop it like it's hot was uh excuse me back that thing up was a big one and uh so you know and, and history is written he's the most popular one out of out of all of them yep all right so last round i'm gonna go with whitney houston yeah, i think that's probably the number one uh, uh out of all of them would, would y'all agree to that Yes. Yeah, I think oh, Whitney yeah. Houston, yeah, it's one number one, probably the and, greatest backup ever. And then you probably go uh Mariah Carey or Luther. Uh, uh but you know, uh oh, my goodness. I know. Well, somebody just put it on the screen and threw me out. B they ain't gonna mess you up. But did y'all know that y'all know that song Don't Look Any Further by Dennis Edwards? Don't look any further. Have you seen that? Junior Mafia and them, Junior Mafia and them stole that beat of Forget Money. They did. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, that song was originally for Whitney Houston and Jermaine Jackson when they was, I guess, Dating. spooning. Who <laughs> 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 next? Who next? Whitney dated some. Whitney dated. Okay. Before she married Bobby. Mm. Okay. All right, B. Jones, who you got? Um. For my last one, it's going again. I got to go against the grain. I don't know R and B like they do, so I'm gonna go with uh, I climb around when I hang around with the underground. That's right. I'm going with Tupac Shakur, who uh, who was a backup rapper on Digital Underground. He only had on that all around the world the same song. He was uh, one of the kind of a forethought or a back thought, and then all of a sudden he came out with uh, Roundaway Girl and that whole Brenda's Got a Baby and all that whole album, and and it just took. It took off. So uh, my third one and final one is going to be Tupac Shakur. Well, I climbed right, around when I hang around with the with underground, the underground girl. Used to climb. Yeah, that's when not all. When they asked me, they used to diss me. Diss me, but rap. They used to diss me. Get some, get some. Get some, get some, get some Beatles, you throw me out. Stop. People right, change. So third, people change. Don't forget your life. Huh? Huh? Same yeah. song. Won't go wrong if I play the nice guy. Nice guy. All right. I'm going to go with uh Mr. Charlene himself. Come on, home. Anthony Hamilton. Now, y'all okay, can't that first album ain't fire. What, what were you going to say, KD? I was going to say, who was he singing with before he went solo? He was a backup singer. If you want to know about that, uh, go to Google, because that's what they told me. I didn't, I didn't have enough time to go and see what group he actually sang with. I didn't know I was going to be confronted with that. Maybe okay. I should be prepared next time, Jim. Hey, hey. In all fairness, I came up with Wayne and Tupac on my own. I had to look up John Legend, KT, because I didn't know too many R&B singers. I looked up every single one of them on my list. So I apologize, oh. KD. I will be better prepared oh. next time to answer your question. I'll go. I, I just learned. I was today years old. So I'll go. I'll do the research. <laughs> okay. All right. My last one. Uh, So my last one, I learned this. I was tonight years old, too. Uh, Mariah Carey. Probably so number she's two. backup yeah. singer. 
Okay, yeah, I didn't know that. But you I must mean, not watch that movie. Uh, what's the name of that movie that flopped? So, uh, uh, it wasn't, was it uh, glitter? Glitter, yes, it was glitter. Glitter, <laughs> glitter. Yeah, yeah, that was a really good movie. So I liked it. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Has Mariah Carey ever been a uh, cover athlete? Or have we honored? Have we uh, have we ever honored Mariah Carey in five years? I'm pretty sure in our lost archives, there's some Mariah Carey somewhere. But guess what? The next couple of months, we honor Mariah. Yes. yes. I had a vision of love. Ooh. Wait a minute. Now, let me tell you something. When she hit that note, y'all, I'm telling you, when I'm in the car by myself, I can hit that note. Promise you I can. B. I'm Jones, recording. you know, Katie, that's straight cap. Ain't no way you hitting that note. And hey, everybody hit that good note. note. No, no, no. A no, good Katie. note. Everybody get that note in their car by themselves and in the shower. They, 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 it's just automatic. You sound, you sound like you got you ready for a deal when you by yourself in the shower or, 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 or driving your car. Please record yourself hitting that note. I will. Okay, I will. I will. The acoustics, it, it helps. Anyway. It's more right. acoustics in the world going to make your voice sound like Mariah. I get that. I'm sorry. <laughs> hey, but you, let's last but not least make sure we show the Kelly Rowland is probably in the top, I would say top at least five or six. Yeah. Would y'all would y'all agree with that? May, maybe, maybe eight-ish on that list. Kelly Rowland is up there though, as far as backups that, that he made a name for themselves. Yeah, what we'll give about her Michelle her. Williams. What about her? <laughs> she was a part of this, child. She wasn't yep. a bad singer, but she a survivor. Yeah, she yeah, put out she ain't on the degree of <laughs> Kelly Rowland, though. Come on now. No. She acts too. Anyway, it's time for the Manhattan Project. B is crazy talking about she's a sir. Hey, Michelle Ooh. Williams, Kelly Rowland status on this show. I tell y'all, this is this is going too far. Michelle oh. Williams sounds the exact same on every song. It's I know. No I change. Saying, She's yo. like the Gabrielle Union of oh, singers. Pipe down. Pipe down. It was a joke. I'm going on. Go ahead. What we got? Sorry. <laughs> All right. Just went ahead and let's go. All right. So um, did y'all save that picture? Did y'all get the picture from the group chat? Of the nails? Yeah. Uh -huh. Did y'all yeah. save it? Well, Can, yeah. Are you going to be able to post it? You know, so this is what you have to do. Like, you just showed us that pic. You did say it was for the show, but is that a we know that we we need to do our research. We didn't no. know that we needed to bring a pic. Is this a no, man? No, no, no. I wanted y'all to post that picture. I sent it to y'all so y'all could put it on the on the show tonight. Anyways, oh. okay. So uh, Jared McCain, um, he plays for Duke, and he's a cutie, by the way. So y'all should go check out his TikTok if y'all are interested in seeing a cutie. Um, he pins a deal with Sally Henson. So he is a dude who likes to get his nails done and he gets his nails painted. So it was a lot of tons of talk about him getting a beauty deal being a man. But just last week, you know, we we're praising um, Caitlin for getting the big three offer. And I think it's the same for this, too. Um, the fact that you're able to be creative um, and do things like this, I think is dope. And then to get a deal. Um so my question, I had sent the group a picture and I wanted y'all to post it. And it was a chick, it was a chick's hand of her nails, like kind of long like mine. And she had them, let's just say I had them, they're this color. And then her dude got his nails done too, but he has like designs, but, and the designs like match my nails. If y'all's girl asked y'all to do that, would y'all nope. do it? No. I don't want my man doing that. Why do we gotta why why we gotta do all that? Why I get my, my nails painted? That's one nail? Yeah, one nail. How about one nail? Why do you need it painted? Why do you need the hearts? I would have never known he got his nails done if he didn't put the little stupid hearts on there. <laughs> no, I'm not I'm okay with it. I feel I'm, like okay with it. I'm, not I'm not doing it. I would pay my nail for for my girl. I mean, if that's if that's what she wanted. I mean, why why not? What what difference do it make? Like, who cares? Exactly. What what difference does it make? Why do I need to paint my nails? That because your because your woman wants you to do that to make her feel connected to you. 
It's, yeah. it's, it's a connection. It's, it's, it's about we won as a team and I'm willing to do something for you. The same reason why daughters and sons cut their hair off when their mom's going through uh, uh, certain things like, you know, they're going to kill that's, like, that's, you, that, you that's on a whole nother scale. B. Jones. You oh, took it to another true. scale. That, no, that's not the same. It's a centric, but it is the same. It's doing it's an act of service or it's an act of sacrifice for somebody else. I, I have no problem with doing it. I, am I a fan of uh, of me rocking around, you know, rock painting my nails? No, but if especially if it's for a better cause, I would definitely do it. It's got to be a better cause than just my woman want me to do it. That makes zero <laughs> sense. Why not? Why, why not? Your your woman ain't ain't special enough for you to paint one nail for for KT. Why do I need to paint a nail? That's all I mean. Oh, you gonna go get a uh, yeah, get why, 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 for me just for no why, reason? Why do women need saying, to get tattoos? Why do men need to tattoo somebody's name on their finger or on their neck or or whatever? Why do they need to put lips, you know, lips tattooed on it? It's a sign of respect and love and admiration. No, it's a sign of stupidity. You put stuff it on is. your body, uh, and right people, they'll be gone the next week. Well, you know what? You might not be able to get a tattoo off, but I guarantee you, you can go buy some uh some some fingernail polish remover and get them nails cleaned off again. Or you can not put it on there from the very start. You don't have to you work for nothing. You know what? I will say this. Now, if Rain says, Daddy, I want to practice on you know my nail painting skills, I need you to be my muse. Okay, that's different. But just I, I can't see I, I can't see just a regular woman being like, Hey babe, I just went and got these designs. Can you do yours the same? Like, and then we're going to go somewhere and then we're going to we, Instagram. We can't see that because we were born in a different period. But these kids think totally different. Dudes are painting their nails. You got Caleb Williams, who is potentially about to be the number one draft pick who paints his nails before games. I mean, it's a different world. This dude that you're talking about, yeah, I saw the picture. I wish I would have showed the picture of the guy from Duke. He is a monster. He is a dog. And because of something that's a hot, controversial topic like painting nails, which I don't see how that matters, which way, north, south, or east or west, but it matters. So he doesn't, and now the whole world is talking about it. I I, I have no problem with him painting his nails. If you want to paint your nails, I'm all for it. But she asked me, would I paint mine? The answer is no. And I don't want my man with his, I don't want us to have matching nails. <laughs> Let's get like if you do and you want to do that, then go ahead and do it. But that's on you. But I'm not paying money. You act like the dude getting French tips or something. Like he getting uh like he getting the next beach. Oh, I want you to get French tips. Then he gonna be like, okay, I got you. Then what you gonna say? You come home, he got your damn drawers on. How much I mean, what's gonna be next, B? How much do you love that woman? Hey, this lipstick will look real good on you. I mean, God, I you. You can't even type on a keyboard. <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with that, man. I, I, I go paint y'all nails, young guys. Y'all do y'all thing, man. If y'all you be you, whatever makes you comfortable. Just know that the head coach KT is not painting his nails. No. Nope. Now, I'll say this: if you get like some clear where you can barely see, then yeah. But you doing that? You putting little rubies and hearts? Come on now. <laughs> Get bedazzled, get bedazzled all the way out, KT. Go out, man. Do your thing, yeah, man. No. I mean, I, the furthest I'm going to go is if you wear black, but it's got to go with you. Like, you can't, to me, you can't, you can't be a businessman yeah. with a suit on and you got black polish. Like, you need to be into the arts or something for me. To it is 2024, the year of the mamba. Don't nobody care no more. You know what, Big Jones? You, you know what? I'm doing my own nails these days. I'm going to bring my kid over to your house and I'm going to hook you up for next show. Oh, I want you oh. to I'm, I'm on M O T S on these joints. And I'm telling you, because that's no, I can't do all that. I can't do all that. Like that. I'm holding them up just like that. Everybody kill. I'll be like, he's over there. I'm going over. I, I, I see you on Sunday afternoon, and when and I want my twenty. I, I, want, I want the state of Louisiana on this one. I just want the whole state. So when I throw people to be, you know, I can do all kind of stuff with this. Let's okay. go. Hey, Katie, move on, please. Move all on. right. So, um, are y'all talking about football in the pick six, or can I talk no, about? I, no, we, I don't. I don't have no sports today for the pick six. Since y'all okay. iced me out last week, I said, you know what, I'm have fun today in the okay. pick six. So I'm going to discuss a little bit of football. So Stefan Diggs to the Texans, right? What is, is, what is going on on this show? We got we got Miss Manhattan talking about trades in the NFL. Yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. 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 Joey's man? <laughs> is, is, are Look, we on attack? Uh, what is going on? It's his brother. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. KT, I'll, I'll let you go first, KT. Yeah. Um, so my question, it, does this make, does this shine a, a better light on Houston? And do y'all uh, see them? We, we can cut you off right there. This makes them damn near unstoppable. What's the okay. running back that just got B. Jones? Uh, Joe, Nix, Joe Mixon. Yep, they got Joe they Mixon. Got Dale. They got uh, the what, Nico they, Collins. Nico, Nico Collins. And now you add Stefan to that group. Yeah. With a young quarterback who was who going to the defense, who was going to bring some leadership to that wide receiver. Because you got to remember Nico and Tank, they were rookies last year. So this will uh, definitely allow them to get more mature. But I'm gonna tell I'm not a huge fan of the move. And I know I'm I know people are gonna blast me. I know they're gonna they're gonna call me crazy and all of that stuff, but Let's not forget that Stefan uh, Stefan Diggs, who we've honored on this show, Stefan. So I like you, but you had a falling out in Minnesota. It didn't end well there. You went to Buffalo. You got Josh Allen, which is, uh, in my opinion, a top five quarterback. This team is consistently knocking on the door, going to the Super Bowl. Y'all have literally been maybe one or two plays away in in, in, in three years from making it to the Super Bowl. And yet you get you you get you find reasons to get into it with the coach, with the starting quarterback. I just don't think this is now. Don't get me wrong, Stephon Diggs' talent is superior. He's a top ten wide receiver in the league. But when you look at what 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 Texans established last year, you got a rookie quarterback. You got these rookie wide receivers. You got this rookie defensive end. That is a young locker room. We don't need an old cantankerous veteran to come in here, want things his way with his prickly attitude and his his spicy behavior. We don't need that in the culture of this team. You got D'Amico Ryan's, who's a defensive minded. Coach. Coach, he ain't gonna take all that blase, blase, whoop the whoop and attitude out of no prima donna offensive, offensive juggernaut. So I don't like to move. I would have wished they, you know, it's Zoe. I got to give a shout out to my boy Zoe Riggins. He he actually talked to me about this when we was texting earlier today. I think T Higgins would have been a better trade. I, I like you going to get a T. I, I he's, a, he's a better fit for that culture in that locker room. And I think T Higgins has been used to playing with other guys. He's willing to share the ball. I don't think Stefan is going to be pleased when Nico getting 12, Tank getting eight, nine, and he only getting six or seven uh, opportunities. And then he's going to start, they're going to start forcing him. So I'm not a huge fan of the deal. I love the deal. Texans got them at a budget rate, but I'm not sure that this is going to take them over the top as, uh, as you said, KT. But once, um, if he does act up, they can get rid of him after this year. So Yeah, it's a one-year deal. And, and and to the other side of that, you are right. They just boosted up. You, you have to have three legitimate pass catchers in today's NFL. You either have to have two wide receivers and a tight end, or you got to have three wide receivers that, get, that, that gives their quarterback options. Because these cornerbacks and these defenses have gotten really good. So what he's going to do to open up that offense is going to be uh, prolific. Hmm. Okay. Well, y'all both answered my question, so thank you. Um, the show of the season is Griselda on Netflix. Are y'all done with the series, or where are y'all at? I'm not so done with the series, because I was watching X-Men 97. I thought I was doing X-Men 97. I, we were doing both. I watched Griselda. I okay, well, I'll, I'll watch Griselda tonight. We could we could finish uh, well, it off next week. I don't appreciate from the two up top, y'all didn't tell me it was subtitles, so I had to read. No, I don't oh, yeah. It. The majority of it. The majority of was like 85%. Hey, you can't, if you look down in the text, you didn't miss like somebody get their head chopped off and everything on that show. That show is crazy. Hey, it's 85%. It's 85%. So you can't watch it sleeping because uh, you show <laughs> you gonna miss everything. You don't have yeah. of it. Yep. So do we need to touch on it? Are we are we gonna close it out now or we're gonna finish watching it? Then we can so I can't I can only add in content on what I saw the first three. So I'll tell you right now, I'm at the point where she uh they they just literally had the forum and uh they stole the business from her. She went in the club and then she was out in the out in the foyer and they they told her like, Hey, uh you you out. We we you know we can't do nothing with you. So I don't know how she's gonna get back in. Uh, but that's the point I'm at right now. So I yeah, think I'm at the end of episode three. Yeah, she and is when, savage, though. yeah when that dude stole her product yeah. And, she yeah. got it and got it back and then did the business on him. Whew. I ain't seen that yet. So we want to. I can't wait to get there. Well, I'm gonna I'm, I'm, I'm crack that thing up. So next Wednesday, y'all come back. We're gonna definitely talk some Griselda. Please. But uh, is it more than three? Epi- is it more than three episodes on this X Men '97? The or is it just three? Episodes? Tuesday. Okay, so we watch it as Tuesday. it go along. Okay, all right. So we'll talk about X Men '97 down the road. Okay. Yeah, all I right, watched the one for Tuesday today. Okay. It okay. Was, it wasn't as good as the other three, 
But yeah, it wasn't keeping my attention, and maybe because like I expect them to sound like what they sound like non cartoons. So I need Hugh Jackman. No, I need you gotta, Alex you gotta realize, Jim and I, with them, these are the original voice characters from like 20 years ago. I don't, I don't really. Like, are you serious, KT? I believe I some of them did come back wow, to reprise their dope. roles. I didn't know I that. I didn't know that. I don't know them people. So I also, was, uh, also, Kevin, I don't remember Morph. I don't remember growing up with this uh, Morph. I remember Ben. I Shirt. remember Morph. He wasn't like a real big character, but I do remember him. But when I he's talking, I don't even really pay attention to him on the show. Yeah, yeah he, I like his character, though. If I had to choose one, I, I like character. how they did. Yeah. I like how they did Cyclops, how he should really be. Yeah, Cyclops was cold. The movie did him no justice. No justice. This Cyclops can fly like he like the way he he, he can use his uh, laser. Yeah. That's how it should be. Uh, that, that was fire. That 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 new Cyclops is dope. We're gonna talk about X Men ninety seven. Ain't gonna spoil it for everybody. Let's 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 get it going. Let's go. All right, Katie. All right, that's all I got for the Manhattan Project. <laughs> all right, hey, so for the uncut gems, did you guys? <laughs> oh, sorry. Did you guys do your homework? Do you have your face on? Oh yeah, I'm ready. Everybody what ready? You doing? What was what was the three? Wow. Oh, I, I knew I was forgetting something. I don't. I don't. I don't, I don't have mine together. Oh, so oh, y'all. Yeah, you must have three songs. You had to. Uh, let's just do lyrics. One. Let's just do one this no, week. We're doing the, 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 me and Jim oh, and I did the assignment. Like, <laughs> we never get to none of the other show. Like last week, we was at an hour and ten minutes. We we can only do. I mean, come on, man. We had the forty two minute mark. Yeah, you this. always do two or three or something. I'm doing three today. I did my assignment. Right, yeah, well, well, Kevin can do mine. Kevin can what, do mine. What's that? What's the, the assignment question? was? You needed to um, you needed to come with lyrics from a song, and we were supposed to guess what 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 song it was. Okay, okay. I, I got one song. I know I could do. All right, KT, go first. Freely. Wait. But you can't sing it. You have to like say it. I wasn't finna sing it. Okay, go ahead. I know you want to hear my voice, but no, it was for the other. It was for the other two that didn't complete their homework. Oh yeah, I'm with you. Okay. Freely, completely, everything you want, I'll be. Good love down to the last drop. Um, and I'm not gonna stop. Not loving you. Can you? Every day. Every day. Horrible. Uh, what song is that? What song is that? Oh, Mary J. Blige, "Love No Limit." Okay, I, 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 Kevin, you don't. I just learned that you run, you drive around the city listening to Mary J. <laughs> Dude, I listen to all type of music. I just learned to do something. Cool. I just, <laughs> you know, what do, oh, you know, what you, you, you know what I did to him last time. Y'all remember how he's trying to be funny with the usher? Mm -hmm. So he came to my career. We jammed the usher all the way to this AAU tournament. So now we're playing Mary J. Blige. Usher, usher was rolling too. All right. All right, let's go, Jim. And I let's see yours. Oh, mine, mine yeah. is fifty-four eleven size seven and girls. Baby face would look like she was eleven with curls. With curls. That's DMX. I know Girl, that. Much. I remember Girl, you. Remember you from way back. I'm going down. Yeah. All right. For, I got. I got one. So mine okay. is going to be. Y'all ain't gonna get this one. Swimming on the timeless currents of pure bliss. Fantasies in a changing with each kiss, undying passion unites Unite. our oh. soul. Together we swim until the point of no control. That's LL Cool J. Um, hey, love. Hey, love. Yep, that's Hey, love of our LL. Gemini, you're actually pretty good. He he actually used to work in the Sam Goody, and uh, you call. Him. Hey, hey, this game is uh, I'm gonna get you on my team next time. <laughs> <laughs> All right, KD, what you got? Okay, um. I'm going to skip the first line. Okay. Saying come over because she's all alone. I could tell it was your ex by your tone. Why is she calling now after so long? That sounds like Drake. It's going to no, be. That's, um, I can't remember. You want me to say it again? You want me to say it again? Yeah, go ahead. Hold on. Saying come over because she's all alone. I could tell it was your ex by your tone. Why is she calling now after so long? Is it the older artist? Yeah, yeah. Define what is that, Selena? Y'all don't know it? Yeah, do y'all give up? Oh, no, wait. It's not Tony Braxton, is it? No. Okay, I don't know. Me either. 
All right, it's Maya, case of the X. So, say, well, y'all, we just honored Maya. Yes. Three weeks ago. Say, I mean, we know all the lyrics of us song, Lee Jones. We honor. Right. Uh, can can right. I just do one more? Can I just do one more? Oh, we all yeah, got one. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Go, ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, Jim. Go. All right, hold on. Let me see which one. Um, uh, I can't stay away from you too long. Even if I do, I'll always call. That's all you gonna give us? Yeah, that's <laughs> not much. I can't stay away from you too long. Even if I do, I'll always call. Checking on mm -hmm. you, make sure you're okay. Be the one to brighten up your day. Your day. I don't remember. I don't know that one. Nobody? And the point of it, of all, it all, I, I love you. you. There's a reason for it. Oh, oh, oh. All right. Shout out to Anthony Hamilton. All right, KT. Spitting at adversaries, envious after me. I'd rather die before they capture me, watch me bleed. Mama, come rescue me. I'm suicidal thinking thoughts. I'm innocent, so there'll be bullets flying when I'm caught. It's Tupac, but I don't know what song it is. It's my favorite Tupac song. It's Tupac. I know that for a fact. It's, it's when he said the adversary yeah, gave it away. I just don't know what Tupac song that is, KT. Which one is it? Your mama. So many battlefield scars by driven and plush cars. My life is a rap star. It's nothing without ambitions of a rider. Here we go. Ambitions of a rider. Hey. All right, here we go. For mine, in the morning, I can fix you breakfast, baby. Get you ready for work. Let me be. Your housekeeper, girl. Yeah. That's a men of vision. Men of vision, right? Yes. Men of vision. I like right. jam that. I'm gonna jam that last week too, B. So guess what? I'm gonna put that on for you too. How about that? All right, B. I mean, uh, KD. She's looking at one. I I she's not I See, I had one, but y'all aren't gonna know. Y'all are not gonna know it. So well, I'll go. Do, with do that. something that's like semi easy. Semi hard. I got my last one too. I'm ready to go. Um, no, I'm gonna go with this one because I, I don't know. All right, so. Girl, when the valet pulled the bins up off to the crib, shoddy, where we gonna end up? Girl, sit back, relax, hold up. Let me turn the radio on. That's Drake. Nick Cannon? <laughs> <laughs> Who is this? Uh, Trey Songs. Girl, oh. I... What is it? Invented. Invented. No. Oh, okay. You're right. <laughs> All right, y'all want to do one more? Everybody got one more? Yeah. Y'all got one more? Y'all want to do one no, more? Come on, let's go. I All got right. one more. I'm ready. Okay, go ahead. Oh, oh, is it me? You want me to go? Yes, you. Then uh, I'll go. Okay. Um, To see your pretty face, I, I think KT will know this one. To see your pretty face, I've got to stay cool. Girl, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ooh, the way you receive me. I have nowhere. Y'all, somebody I, say I, I, a lifeline in the in the in the comments. I need somebody to throw me a ball. Again, real quick, say it again real quick. Where did I start? To see your pretty face, I've got to stay cool. Break it down. Um, girl, don't leave me. Don't leave me. Ooh, the way you receive me. I just tell me. I, I I'm gonna be mad at myself. Probably because I know you know this song. I don't expect KD to know it, but it's Tevin Campbell. I just want to be alone. Don't nobody listen to no Tevin Campbell. I be alone. Next week. When, when the next time we play this I game, let's do. Hey, Tevin Campbell, go. The song to be a top 10 song or something. Like, hey. hey. <laughs> Uh, no diehard Tevin Campbell. I, I can I can ask everybody in the world, and nobody gonna say Tevin Campbell is in my top five. I'm sorry. No. But I love Tevin. Cam Go back and listen. Yeah. It's all about the song, loving the song. Oh, have mercy. All right, all right. Man. come on, KT. Uh, y'all didn't. <laughs> yeah, I know y'all. Y'all gonna get this one, especially you, Gemini. Okay, let's go. It didn't take much time to think about it, but I didn't want to move too fast. Ooh. 
because I knew that when I saw you again. That yeah, I know this one. I want to let you pass. Yes. Oh yeah, uh, that's uh Drew Hill. Uh, Beauty, oh. Beauty was her name. Walks by me every day. Walks by me every day. Her love <laughs> the same. One that has stolen, stolen my, my heart. And Deidre is her name. <laughs> All right, B. Jones, y'all was talking about how long this was taking. B. Jones, go ahead with yours. All right. The girl is on standby, waving just to say hi. Did I stop? No. I just drove by, kept on, pursuing to the next block. The block was dead, so I headed to the next stop. And the, wait, oh, dang. I'm going to leave it at there. Ooh, and that's I another one I should know, but I'm going to be real with you tonight. I don't know that. The girl is on standby. <laughs> Waving just to say hi. Did I stop? No. I just drove by. Kept on. Pursuing to the next block. Doom, 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 da, da, doom, doom. Doom, 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 doom. Oh. Ice, ice, baby. Oh, so we can't do... Can't you know, you know my ice, ice, baby. That was a Ninja Turtles thing. <laughs> <out there laughs> one point. No, but you know what? No, everybody on this thing, if I if I had said... Uh, uh, the girl is on standby, waving just to say hi. Did I stop? No, I just drove by, kept on. You said it like that. Then yeah, yeah, yeah but I'm just saying, yeah, I, I, everybody, everybody on here know Vanilla Ice. That was one of the most popular songs. Everybody know Tevin Campbell. No, nobody know Tevin Campbell. Okay. Can you do uh, All right, my last one. I'm just gonna give y'all one line because I feel like it's easy. So call six three two twenty one three five. Is that Dang, right? hold on. Call 632-2135. I know that song and I can't think I can't think of the melody to go along with that one. Is that true? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's right. 77793. <laughs> right. Y'all ready? Maybe yeah. I'm thinking of a different song. I'm gonna sing the whole song now. So whatever you want, girl, you know I can provide whatever you need. Call 632-2135. Tony, yep. Tony, Tony. Yes. What makes you think that I would try to run to a game, game on you? you. It's just to show as my name is oh, no. You must have just Googled that. How did you know that one? <laughs> well, I don't know. Friend, it's not from the 90s. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. So this song she was singing and she was like, it, I, I forgot what she told me, but I did not know that he says a phone number in that song. So I had been listening to that song for all these years and did not know. But I really the truth is like I never heard the original for the first time. I always heard the remake. So Lud Ludacris was the first remake. So it, I don't think it says it on there. And then Ty Dolla Sign has a remake of it too. Well, so, the original is the best. Yeah, yeah, of course. I agree. All right, well, let's go. Let's go All to right. the drop. It is time for the drop. Hey. So Beyonce um, dropped her Cowboy Carter album. Are y'all a fan or is this a flop? Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't. I can't call it a flop. Um, sometimes I'm one of those type of people that got to listen to something two or three times, and all of a sudden it stick with me. On first impression, though, there were a few songs that I, li I like. Tyrant, I think it was called Tyrant. I love Two Most Wanted with Miley Cyrus was my favorite song on the album, um, and it was like a couple of other joints. Everybody was talking about this Jolene. Like, it was sung already. Like, that song was already done by Dolly Parton. I don't know what she did. Change. Maybe she did a couple of vocal runs, but I wasn't super uh, overly impressed with uh, with Jolene. But I love Two Most Wanted with Miley Cyrus. I hope they do a video with that one and, and really blow that one up because it's kind of the best of both worlds, and it's a, it's a dope song. So you know Jolene is a is a true story, right? About yeah. Dolly Parton. Yeah, but that's job Dolly Parton joint though. Like, like Dolly well, Parton, Dolly Parton yeah. has always said she wanted to hear Beyonce sing that song. Really? She, Dolly Parton. Well, has you know somebody always, else sang it before Beyonce. A couple yeah. of people have sang that song. Didn't know that. But yeah. she specifically said she wanted to hear. Somebody was interviewing her, and she said, "I think she, Reba. I think Reba sung it too. I think Reba McIntyre did Jolene as well." I like that song. She say, uh, don't come around here with all that, Jolene. All right, go ahead. KT, did you have an opinion or no? Oh, I like the uh, Tyrant, the Texas Hold'em, the uh, Spaghetti. Yes, I liked I like it. it. It was different. I was walking for like an hour, so I got a chance to listen to the whole <laughs> album. So 
Yeah. Oh, that. Oh my goodness, that was a miserable walk. Well, I had to do that because I knew we were going to talk about the album. Yeah, yeah. On this show, so I listened to it. I listened to some Kelly Rowland too. So, <laughs> okay, okay. Call homework, B. I did some homework. I liked it, but I'm still on Act One with Renaissance, so that's my preference. Um, and then this week, Bryson Tiller is dropping his self self titled album. So that's what we'll be listening to between now and then. So make sure y'all do y'all's homework. I'm gonna listen to that Bryce. I've been waiting for Bryce until it'll drop something new. And the reason being is because these 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 kids come on our You Got Next show and we be like, who are your top five? KT asks, who are your top five? And they always say Bryce until I'm like, what do y'all know about me? Y'all was 13 years old when Bryce and Tiller was hot. Now all of a sudden, you know, they jamming his Bryce and Tiller. So I, I'm ready for him to do some new music. I'm super excited about this one. Yep. And it's supposed to be his last album. I believe he's gonna get into um like program programming with gaming. So last really? yeah, last tour, last album. So hopefully it's the best, but we'll see. He doing that for clicks. He ain't yep. leaving. Yep. Yeah. No. What, what you got for the coaches group this week? Well, we are honoring Kelly Rowland. So I, you know, I did listen to like the majority of her songs when I was walking. So she had the song with Eve, and it's called Like This. Oh, yeah, groove well, for this episode is like this by Kelly Rowland featuring Eve. I actually that's the one song I wouldn't listen to because I was like, she got a joint with Eve on it, and that was the one song I pulled it up on my YouTube. So uh all right, for the sneaker, we already saw this sneaker, but it's actually about to happen. This uh, this shoe is coming out next week, so be on the lookout for the Jordan Retro OG Highs Artisanal Red. I can't remember what the lady said, but I thought this was a dope sneaker, kind of got that cranberry kind of Merlot type look. It's not quite uh purple, but it's not red or you know, or, or what is that? What is that? color um burgundy so it doesn't have those tones to it but it's definitely it's all leather so the shoe gonna stand out so i i you know what i kevin you, is you getting artisanal reds or you passing on this one i'm gonna pass on because i already got the other ones yeah i, I kind of got a pair that looks similar to it but i think this is one i could even still add to my collection because the the texture is gonna be different and, and the, the, the nike check is different it's a different yeah color. and the pop and the pop on it it's gonna it's gonna come off the hues and the colors gonna come off a little bit different uh when the light hit it but what about you manhattan i like it but not for me all right anyway uh what about you gemini jones Oh Lord! You know what? Going forward, the the drop with KT and B Jones, uh, we'll be <laughs> we'll be talking about it. Well, Mike ain't gonna never give us no money. Y'all keep no, no. jogging their shoes. No. I don't know what they want. No, I, I didn't say I didn't like them. I just said I'm not gonna get them. There should be two. That's saying things. you don't like them, so you're not gonna get them. The whole thing is, if you like them, you get them. Cop. Next week, I'm gonna pull some Cortez Nikes up and see if they like those. But all right, here we go. I ain't gonna turn the music on, but welcome to the Pick Six. We got a um, we got a couple of questions I want to go through with y'all. The the question number one is. Let's take. Let, I want y'all to look at this Iowa and LSU situation. I want you to tell me that if you were in a heated rivalry with another school. So this is the thing. Would you rather win the national title defeating this team in front of everybody, in front of the second most watched game ever, or would you want to be on the revenge tour and win the game to go to the final four in front of the most watched crowd ever? So you got a choice. You can win the national title, which is the biggest game. You're guaranteed to get a ring in front of the second most people, but you're on the front side, or would you rather lose that first one, come back, win the second one to go to the final four? So who would you rather been, LSU or Iowa? You going with LSU, KT? Give me the ring. Give me the ring. What about you, Gemini? Yeah, something about revenge that I like. I know that's that's what got me too. It's like that that story of Caitlin Clark losing last year, getting you know Angel Reese doing the thing, and then all of a sudden in front of the whole crowd, in front of the whole world, everybody was watching this game. It's the most watched uh, women's college basketball game in the history, and you not only got go to the Final Four, but you drop forty one points, you redeem yourself. It's something enticing about that option. Uh, but but we'll let we'll let Miss Manhattan do the tiebreaker. What, what do you think, Miss yeah. Manhattan? I think I'm gonna go with the redemption, the redemption one, like yeah. redeeming yourself and yeah. 
Yeah, I'm, I'm an LSU I mean, fan. Tell, I, tell, I mean, tell the whole story, but you, you got your revenge, but do you know if you're going to win the ring? All right. Just All right, saying. number two. Pick, pick number two. I have just recently found out that it is a lot of people who don't rock with peanut butter and jelly. It can, can somebody talk, it, do do my three co uh, do, uh, my co hosts do y'all rock with peanut butter and jelly? Jim and I will start with you. I'm sorry, I'm not sure what about me made you think that I eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So you don't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, Miss Mahad? Do you eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches? Oh my goodness! Yes, again, what did you look at the two of us, and what made you think you eat peanut butter? It got nothing to do with looks. It's like when you grew up. It's something you grew up eating. You grew up eating PB and J's. I think for me, who eats jelly? Like, oh so my! You be eating some dry ass biscuits, KD? Just get your pinky up. I'm, I'm just saying. What do you put honey on your biscuits? No, maybe just butter. So it ain't so y'all are not alone. Ain't no cool not with you or shoes anymore. Oh, God, oh, it's a lot of people that don't eat peanut butter and jelly sandwiches, and I'm not understanding this. I grew maybe because I come from the from the bottom. We grew, I grew up on PB. It has me. nothing to do with growing up on the bottom, B Jones. That's just I, something I, that you I, ate I, as a kid. I, I did eat them as a kid, but it, it was already hard. It was hard to. I just never. No, I just no. Okay, yeah. you put too much peanut butter on yours. You need to put I more jelly. Peanut, I love the more peanut butter than the jelly. I, I like it when it's got that that gooey. You hit that thing and peanut butter all. Yeah, B yeah. Jones, these are the same two that said if a guy took them on a picnic date and brought Taco Bell, they'd be happy with it. So, KT, are you, are you, are you, are you so KT, <laughs> would you go in the kitchen right now and make you a PB and J at midnight, man? And, and down with them, go into a diabetic shock, but hell yeah, I'll go eat some. Yeah, I would. <laughs> I don't even keep. I don't keep peanut butter or jelly or bread. Like, go oh my god! What do you eat? Lettuce? What are you eating? I don't, I don't put them together. I have peanut butter that I use with my apples, uh, and then I have jelly that Terrence primarily uses, and then I have bread for the sandwiches. That is horrible. That is horrible. All right, the second to last one. Second to last one. So. I'm going to let Jim and I go last on this one. But Jim and I texted us the other day that Tesla sent her a code and said, hey, we're going to give you auto self-drive supervised for 30 days free. And it got me to thinking. It got me to think. I had to sit back and start thinking about this. My question to the nation is, if you had a Tesla or any car, I don't care what it is, are you comfortable with sending a vehicle that is driven Strictly 100% by technology. Every turn, every red light, changing lanes, controlling speed, everything is by electronic car. We'll start with you, Miss Manhattan. Are you able, are you uh, Are you confident enough, and would you sit behind the steering wheel of a car that you are not touching anything and you just ride, and there's no other humans in the car? Okay, yes, I would drive, but yes, I'm also a little scared. Just no, like you got to pick one. You can't, you can't. So, so as you getting in that car and letting that oh, car yeah. take you to work. Yeah, I like to live my life on the edge. So, yeah. K KT, is you getting in the car driven by a computer? So, B. Jones, I'm, I'm going to answer your question with a question. <laughs> if I'm in a car that's driving by itself and it runs a light, do you think the police are going to believe, hey, my car is driving itself. I ran this light. No, but it, it, supposedly to take the AI software ain't going to run a light, KT. Supposedly, we know, we know AI. I've seen iRobot. I don't know if y'all watched that movie before. I I robot. Oh, that's a I hard no. I watched Minority Report. It's e e yo, Gemini. So, uh, we I saved you last because tell us about this experience. So, what was it like getting in the car with no driver? You sitting in the car and it took you around the town. So, I don't know how to turn it on. <laughs> <laughs> Good for you, because honestly, when you sent that message, I said she ain't gonna make it on but, Wednesday night. But, okay, so I was trying to figure out how to get this in there. It's in my car because it said you now have it. It pops up, and then and then I'm like, okay, cool. But then I'm like, oh, well, maybe yesterday I went to to uh, Home Goods. I said, well, maybe I need to put the address in there for it to know exactly where to go. I put the address in there, and y'all, I took my foot off the brake and the car of the gas. <laughs> Hey, well, you need to get an instruction, man, but don't do it. Leave it alone. Just drive oh, your car. But let me finish. So when I got to um, Home Goods, I was about to, you know, whip it in and back it into to a spot. The car said, we got this. 
It said, would you like for us to park for you? And I hit the yes button. And it parked, it parked cool. I mean, like it would no no I wish I, I didn't have my phone out to actually record it, but it did. It it lined everything up, it had it, and I just sat back and watched the wheel was turning and yeah. That, you know what? I'm I I don't consider myself to be um to be an old head. Uh, you know, I love embracing technology. I'm not sure I'm comfortable with a computer taking me down interstate at 75 miles per hour. I, I just yeah, I probably will. Yeah, not. I, I don't know if I'm cool with that. Maybe going through a parking lot, I'm okay with. You know, hopefully he don't use no little kids as a speed bump or nothing. But that right there, I, I, I'm. One of, the, um, one of the cool features that it does that I have, I also want to try to test out as soon as I figure out how it works is I can if I say it's raining and I come out to the movie theater. Do, 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 do. And my car gonna come get me. Come pick you up. Come, you can summon your car. I want to try that. I want to try that. I need, I need to see it done. Yeah, Cam please keep your camera out and start recording okay. some footage of this okay. because uh, I got to see it in that application. Last but question, B. Jones, but B Jones, think about this though. Going to like these out of town places. Now on a highway yeah, yeah. like that, I probably would. You, you know what though? See, that, that's my thing. If I could get comfortable with this, just think now you could leave somewhere at midnight. You could just get in the car, go to and sleep, and let, it go. And, let, and let it go. You could travel. No, 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 no. It says supervised. It so you gotta be awake. Oh, well, that, that's crap technology. I want to go to sleep. Drive you, know, you know a dude died like that, right? When it first came out, uh they had uh they had road barriers, they were doing some construction on the road, the car didn't pick up the construction, ran slap into it, and the dude died in a Tesla. So yeah, I'm just saying, it. take your chances. It's super guys. You can't, I mean, yeah, you can eat your Chick-fil-A, but you still need to be ready to grab the wheel or ready to put your like you can't just sit in the passenger seat and be like, all right, yeah, go. yeah. All right, man. Last question. Since we're paying homage to Kelly Rowland, uh, it just I don't know what made me think about this, but the fact that Kelly Rowland got Mia Copa, uh, which is on Netflix right now. And then, of course, y'all remember about seven, eight years ago, Beyonce had Obsessed, which was That's featuring, uh, yeah, maybe it's it was like 10 years that. ago. It maybe it was like 10 years ago, 2010, 2011, something like that. But my question to you is out of those two psychological thriller drama type movies, which one you like best? Do you like uh, Mia Copa or? Or obsessed. Which one are you picking? I'm gonna pick Mia. Really? You liked it that much? All right. What about you, KT? I haven't seen Mia, but I'm gonna pick that because in Obsessed, Beyonce actually headbutted the woman. I don't know too <laughs> many women who gonna headbutt somebody during the fight. So I'm gonna go with them. I'm gonna go with them. And she wasn't weird. her acting. I think that was like one of her first movies. Yeah, that was on her first one. So go you, give me the other one. You, you touch my child. Like, oh, Beyonce, you're doing the most. KT ain't seen Beyonce the same. <laughs> Every time you see it, he <laughs> Which one are y'all going to hear about somebody in the fight? Come on now. This is hey, she, KT, hey. what? That's what she ain't saying nothing. She knows you, she would. You probably knock somebody out you hear about him. All right, Miss Manhattan, have you seen Obsessed? Uh, yes, I have seen Obsessed. And I don't think that was her first movie because she was- It in wasn't her first movie. Oh, yeah, Austin she was Powers. In yeah, yes. she was. Her first movie was the singing song, the thing on MTV. Yes. Remember, it was like her. Oh, Fun Temptations. No, it was Carmen. Yeah, Carmen. Uh, oh, she was Carmen. Singing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, the hip hopper. Um, yeah, I'm going with Obsessed. I feel like the storyline was a little better, and the movie kind of like made sense all together. It was uh, 2009, by the way. Yeah, and Mia Copa, I mean, they both did have like very sexy eye candy for us ladies, but yeah, I'm going with Obsessed. All right, I ain't seen Mia Copa, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to have to leave, but I thought I thought if that was a pretty cool, pretty cool question. All right, y'all, we're going to close the show with my yeet of the week, and I'm going to keep it super simple because we're running out of time. We all, we, we love redemption stories. We talked about it, and no, I'm not giving my love to Caitlin Clark. I'm going to shout out Paige Beckers. That is right. Paige came out of high school as the number one prospect before we had Juju Mania, before we had Caitlin Clark getting deals to play in against men. Paige Beckers was on the face of every magazine. She was supposed to be the chosen one to take, uh, take women's basketball into the next era, to usher them into a new generation of basketball, but she, she got injured not once, but twice. We're talking about a young lady who two years in a row, she saw her teammate 
teammates. She saw the league. She saw other rising stars pass her by and start getting all of this money. But the, uh, 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 two nights ago, Paige was able to set the record straight. She's now healthy. She came out, fired, and, and played an immaculate game, led UConn to the Final Four, upset the number one seed in Juju Watkins. So when uh, she got on the stage, she gave all her glory to, to God. And, and uh, But to, the fact of the matter is, is this is a redemption story of somebody who came from from uh, from despair, from injuries, not just one, but two injuries. And uh, now she's back in the final four. Fun fact for y'all who's uh, who's watching this in 2004, UConn men's and women's won the final four. In 2014, UConn men's and women's won the final four. And in 2024, UConn men's and women's are both in the final four. So Paige Beckers for fighting adversity, for being tenacious, for being extraordinary and elite. You deserve a yeet. All right, y'all. We got to wrap this up real, real quick. So let's do some shout outs. KD, who you shouting out this week? Yeah, I'm going to shout out to um, my work people. Um, thank y'all for watching and um, participating in our questions, our crazy questions that we ask um, on the live. All right, B. Jones. Uh, Saturday, it is going down. Me and KT are going to San Antonio. So for all of our AAU teams and family, we're going to get to watch some good AAU ball. This is going to be really the first uh, tournament of the year where we're going to get to see all the All-Americans. We're going to get to see all the superstars. They say this is going to be good on good all tournaments. So super excited about that. And then last but not least, I want to shout out my grandmother and my grandfather who just celebrated. That. Check this out. Their 67th anniversary. I can't even imagine how they pulled that off, but it's black love. It's uh, it's king and queen love. So shout out to uh, Virtus and Theola Davis for they uh, for making me for one, <laughs> but two for being around this thing and hanging in there uh, and uh, loving on each other for such a such an a massive three three scores. All right, KT. Every week our numbers are going higher and higher and higher, and today I think we reached the most people that have ever watched. With that said, if you're watching this right now, because it's saying there's a bunch of y'all looking, join us on YouTube. Make sure you're liking this video. If you're on Twitter, leave us some comments. We'd love to uh, talk back to you. Just thank y'all for rocking us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. You're on mute, Pam. Sorry, I got the last shout out. I would like to shout out my amazing father who is 80 years old today. Oh, I can't I can't wait to turn up with everybody. We call him Poppy. Everybody calls him Poppy uh, ever since Terrence was born. So shout out to my daddy. If you've never had a conversation with my daddy, you, you, you're missing out because the man is funny. That's where I get my sense of humor from. Yeah. Love you, daddy. <laughs> Ted T said cap. <laughs> First of all, why is he even in here? <laughs> all right, y'all. That concludes our show this week. See y'all next time. Peace. You already know what time it is, sports life talking. If you didn't know, you didn't set your reminder. You need to set your reminder, set man. Your reminder, yeah. Sports life talk through your speakers and your headphones. Get to know the name and let your friends know. Ask who's got that game on lock. Like a chain around a box, no bento. Legos in the end zone. Building on a high from the scoreboard that we're adding to. Consistent with the content on a whole different magnitude. Working front to back like a lateral pass. And the attitude matches the aptitude. That's why we're glad to do sports life talk. Counting down the clock till the next episode drops. Yeah. Sports life talk. Counting down the clock till the next episode drops. Yeah.